everybody. Welcome to Shanna's Sweets. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you coming, stopping by. We're going to make another card in my series using the Hanging Garden stamp set. Um, I, If you've been here, you know I was going to make several projects using this set. Um, it's super cute. Um, it's got these three baskets with some lovely sentiments to it. It is available in the Occasions catalog um, on page 30. Um, it is March, and this means it is the last month to take advantage of this celebration season here at Stampin' Up, meaning for every $50 you purchase, you can select one item in the celebration catalog, or if you spend over $100, you can pick a couple items that are in here for th um, that have the little coral um, indicator there. They are special items that you must purchase $100 worth. Or you can get two items with the little $50 uh, teal looking um, emblem. So in February, they did come out with some new items that is available in the additional flyer. Um, if you have any questions on how to redeem these or need um, a flyer or the link sent to you, please email me at shannasweetsblog at yahoo.com and I'll be glad to hook you up for that. Um, it can be anything from the annual, the occasions, or the clearance items. Um, and it will, when you put those items in your basket, it will pop up at the bottom of the screen for you to redeem your items. So let's get to our card. We're going to do some stamp resist today and some dry embossing with a folder. So we'll get right to it. We are going to use crumb cake for our um, card base in which um, I have already scored and folded my card base. Um, crumb cake at five and a half by eight and a half folded at four and a quarter. Then we are going to use Emerald Envy and we are going to use the petal um, burst embossing folder in which we're just going to um, put our paper in the middle of and then you have your heavy your thick platform at the bottom then a uh, clear cutting board then your Other, um, Sorry, I just gotta grab a second plate here because I dropped it and of course can't see it on the floor. That's okay, I got another one here. Just slap that on there. And run it through. And then when you pop it out, of course, you have a nice, thick embossing. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape to all four of my sides. And I like one down the middle just to make sure that it is in place good. Now, before I do the next pieces, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do our stamping. So, we're going to grab some blocks here. And on, let's see, remember which ones I want to use. I want to use my skinny one. And I'm going to use... I think this other one here. So let's ink up. We're going to use Versamark. I'm going to go ahead. I've got watercolor paper here. 
and tell you the measurement on it here real quick. It is three by four and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp this one up here in this corner. Really put some emphasis on the middle. And then I'm going to ink up the other one. Pushing real good in the middle. And I've got my white embossing powder over here. I'm just going to take my little tool here and drop the embossing powder on it. A lot of paper. Make sure my images are covered good. Tap it off, and then I got a, a little brush here. I'm just gonna brush off some of the extra that I kind of got. So I'm a little wayward with my stamp pad there. Otherwise, that's a nice job. All right, I'm going to move my white aside. I have my embossing gun. I want to heat it up for a few seconds. I like to give the back a little bit just to kind of heat my card up. I like to move the gun along the whole paper so it doesn't warp too bad. And then you'll see it turn. and get glossy. Okay, now, there's a spot I'm on that we're going to do, we're going, there's no black embossing powder, so we got to make our own. So what you do, we're going to. Going 
going to stamp on the clear stamp on the versa mark real good stamp on the black I gotta look and make sure all my image is at here And then put clear embossing powder on it. course you need to do all this before we add any ink to our paper now I'm going to brush the powder off my pad there take my emerald envy kind of squish it and my crushed curry so I have ink in the top of both of these I have my aqua painter and I'm going to kind of get my paper wet first just because I want the water to flow. I kind of like that. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead this is kind of wet. So I'm going to go ahead and take my heat gun and draw my water paper off here. Don't have the leisure of time. I want to dry my paper off. All right, I'm going to take my green. Now we're going to cut a bunch of tape because this is I'm going to put extra on here because I'm going to put it down on this piece of DSP.
and then this is going to go on dimensionals. Now, I have some dimensionals here that I've got just the edges of. This is perfect to use for pieces that you're going to have long. See? Perfect. And even this one that I haven't used very much of, I'm just going to cut the ends because I like this long piece. Or since I have this really big piece that I want to put down, it is like perfect. have to grab so many little ones. And put down. And then I'm just going to Trim up my bow, and there you have it. This bow I got going a little crooked. I like that. Let's shorten this bow though. Perfect pick me up car. Oh, sorry, I need to put the little do dots on here. Let's see, let's do a darker one with a lighter one. Maybe a darker one down here. I think I'm going to put. There we go. Perfect couple pick-me-up cards to stick in my stash. So, thank you for joining me here at Shanna Sweets. Please uh, subscribe to my future videos. Still got one more, I believe, in this series of um, the Hanging Garden stamp set. Thanks so much. Bye.